Something we don't hear about nearly often enough. Kindness to complete strangers for no other reason than just to be nice. But that's exactly what one woman says happened to her family and another family Wednesday night at a local burger restaurant. 13 on your side, Zena DeSaro has more of this feel good Friday story. Surprised, I was so surprised, is an understatement. I could not stop smiling and I didn't get a chance to say thank you. Now Brittany Carmody and her children are getting the chance. So I just kind of put it on Facebook because I wanted to put it out there. It's kind of a thank you. Saying thank you to three unknown Grand Rapids police officers who were eating at Mr. Burger on Lake Michigan Drive on Wednesday night. Another worker had came and whispered something to the cashier and then she, I went to hand her my card and she said, your meal is covered. The police officers wanted to pay for the next couple people in line's food. The restaurant's general manager says he sees this kind of thing happen frequently. We've just seen it quite recently over the last couple months. And not just with officers shelling out their own money to pay for others. It's been the whole area actually. It's not really out of nowhere. We've been having once a week, maybe somebody goes ahead and does it. So it's been really something to see. A little bit of kindness. Uh, it's a small restaurant in a very community oriented area. Can truly go a long way. I have three kids and a single mom and it was like a big deal to me. I was so excited. <laughs> Carmody is using that experience as a teaching moment. It kind of helped them see how nice they are and not to be scared of them. Just ask three year old Grayson. Are those police officers nice? Yeah. <laughs> Police get a bad rap sometime and I just wanted to, you know, say thank you in a roundabout way, I guess. I didn't know if it'd get back to them or not, but I felt bad for not saying thank you and I was so thankful. So just kind of wanted to put it out there. In Grand Rapids, I'm Nina DeSaro, 13 on your side. We reached out to Grand Rapids Police about this. Sergeant Dan Adams says one of the battles officers fight is the culture of the Grand Rapids Police Department. And in my mind, when you see officers doing that or handing out stickers to kids. That's the culture of the Grand Rapids Police Department. There are people behind these badges and underneath the bulletproof vests. Good reminder. Yeah, it is.